All right, guys, so I think we're finally ready to get the Dell T30 uh, turned off, packed up, and brought over to my friend's house. And if you're at all curious about the hardware, I highly recommend checking out this video or the previous video, whichever comes out first, uh, about the hardware and exactly what's in it. Uh, can, can we all just sit down for a minute? Can we, can we just sit down? Okay, so before we pack up, though, I do want to just briefly talk about uh, what's what's gonna happen and what what's currently on there and then we'll get into greater detail later on in this video uh, For those that are really interested in the nitty-gritty. So Dell T30 is over here We have Unraid installed as a primary operating system We have a Windows Server 2016 VM installed for basically troubleshooting and we have OpenVPN installed and we're obviously going to connect uh, to that server via OpenVPN uh, that's running as a container within Unraid and that should allow us to have um, our you know, remote connection so we can uh, uh, do backups or copy files, whatever, whatever it is. We have full access to it. And this is, of course, the R710 that you may uh, recall from earlier. So that's obviously staying here. So that was our brief discussion. And now I'm going to go ahead and pack this thing up and bring some of my lights and other things with me. And then we're going to head, head over to Spencer's house. All right. T T30 is packed up in the truck. I uh, just got some final checks. I got, I don't know, some tools in there, some rack mount equipment, uh, power cables, ethernet cable, just in case. Uh, I honestly don't know what else to bring. And one final check. We have the T30, the most important thing. One light, because hopefully I don't need it. Camera stand and all of our accessories that we could possibly need. And away we go. We are now headed to Spencer's house to get this thing set up and installed. And once we get there, I will uh, catch up with you guys and we'll look at it from there. So you guys might remember Spencer from earlier. And if not, then you should check out a video where we actually fondled his rack. And also he gave us a tour of his home lab and the setup. So check that out. And anyway, we're here with him again. And he's actually going to let me put my hardware in his rack and plug in some cables into his uh, ports. And then also set up the home, the server for VPN. So that's two things we're going to be doing here. Uh, so yeah, so thanks for letting me exploit you and all you that other it. stuff. All right, so I need you to figure out how to do some port forwarding, and I guess I'm gonna get your rack set up to put the T30 on the rack. So do that stuff, please. Thank you. you got it. And wow, so we're gonna use this shelf over here because last time old boy was using uh, this as a shelf, and I think he still is, and I know he is because he cleaned it up when I got here. He had all that shit on it. Uh, so I brought him some uh, nuts and screws or bolts or whatever the hell these things are called. We're gonna get that thing rack mounted and rearrange his rack uh, for him so we can make room for my stuff. And uh, I don't know, it'll be like the British Empire, I guess.
All right, so one thing I got to do before I leave here is actually set this thing up to work with his network because the IP address we have at home is different than what his subnet and IP range and all that stuff is. So I'm going to do that really quickly. And then one more thing I got to do before I leave is test to make sure I can connect to OpenVPN from my cell phone. Sweet, so it showed right up. We have Unraid's done its thing. It's pulled an IP address from, I'm assuming, his DHCP server, which is on his router. And we're just gonna start it all up and make sure it works. I'd show you guys this part, but uh, kind of hard to do when I'm not at home. Okay, so it looks like OpenVPN has accepted the new IP address. So all I have to do is go to uh, Google Domains and configure my domain uh, or my sub my subdomain actually to point to his IP address uh, so we can connect to the OpenVPN server remotely. Okay, so in Google DNS, I just configured the subdomain to point, or I'm sorry, the subdomain to forward to his IP address. Uh, so that way, when we connect to that domain name, in theory, we should be connecting to the Dell T30 that's at his place and not my actual domain at home or on the internet. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so I got my uh, profile sent out and now I need to actually test connect to the VPN server. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys that, uh, but we will explore that a little bit later from home or my home and uh, you can kind of see how that works in the end. So I'll get back to you. All right, so we were able to connect from my phone to his internal network. I can see the Unraid server, so that pretty much means that we're good, I hope. I don't really know what else to test while I'm here. Uh, everything that I would normally use just seems to be working. So we're done. So thanks for letting me exploit you, you uh, again. Did. Yeah, the did. second time he's let me second exploit time. him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna. I enjoy it though. It's okay. Yeah, we're gonna use all your bandwidth, by the way, like all that's of fine. it. I want to be like downloading porn 24/7, and where that's really it, actually. That's the only reason why I wanted a remote VPN, so my wife couldn't see my so, activities. It's a good reason. Yeah. And also, so I could see your cameras and watch you at night. Yeah. That's that's it. I won't do anything all inappropriate things. all the time. All of the time. Mm -hmm. All of the time. Anyway, so we're going to cut back to the house and then uh, we'll go into the more detailed setup of how all of this actually comes together now that we're done, leaving our poor Dell T30 here with the worst possible hard drives that, you know, he's going to fix for us when they uh, fail and all that, all that stuff. So you got it. So a couple weeks have gone by and we're finally ready to actually show off the finished products. Now this is going to be a huge point of contention amongst a lot of people out there about the best way to connect two Unraid servers together and perform backups. But because I already have an Unraid server running that already has a Windows 10 virtual machine on it, I think that using it the way that I'm about to show you uh, works for me and is perfectly fine. And if you find a better way that works for you, like for instance, are syncing two Unraid servers together, that's fine too. Or if it's some community app, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You have to do what works best for your situation. In my particular situation, since one of my Unraid servers is already set up, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it uh, the way I intend to, as you're about to see. Okay, so we're now looking at my Unraid server at home. This is Transcensia, as you may recall. Uh, so this is the server that's sitting at home. And now we're gonna go ahead and look at how the Windows Server 2016 uh, VM is connected to the remote Unraid server. Now, as you can already tell here, so this is my local Unraid server in this ISOs directory, and this is the foreign or remote Dell T30 that we have set up at my friend's house, as you previously saw. And this is also an ISOs directory. And so, tip, so basically the gist of what we're gonna do here uh, is you know periodically or however I see fit we're just gonna grab whatever I want to back up drag it over and you know okay yes paste it and it's gonna start uh, doing its thing now the connection is gonna be limited to my upload speed and his download speed now my upload speed is approximately 20 megabits per second um, so I don't think it's gonna get much better uh, than what you're seeing here and if it does, you know, hooray, if not, oh well. Now, so just to look at some activity here, so we're just gonna look at the status of our OpenVPN client. Uh, there it is. And you can see that I am, you know, this is my IP address as assigned by the OpenVPN server. And here is a bunch of data going back and forth uh, between my client and the internet 
or, or I guess the server technically, OpenVPN server. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys you know haven't seen how to set all, all of the OpenVPN stuff up on Unred, I highly recommend checking out Space Invaders video to see that. All right, so I'm just gonna can go ahead and cancel out of this because I don't actually wanna copy this ISO over. I don't really need it and it'll be okay. It doesn't look like it finished writing. We're gonna close out of both of these and we're just gonna do a quick speed test to show you uh, you know, what kind of speeds you can expect. And also, while we're here, I just wanna go ahead and show you like, okay, so this is the foreign uh, Unraid server. You can tell it's named Doofer. Here's its IP address. And here is the local uh, Unraid server. This is Transcendia, and you guys can access literally both on the fly and we can see their set setups and how they're configured. And then we can control um, Doofer. This is the foreign Unraid server, pretty much however we please. You know, we can see the virtual machines. We could even connect to this, uh, this virtual machine if we wanted, which is currently logged out. Um, you know, we have full access. We could really do whatever we wanted, but that's not what we're here. So we're actually gonna do a quick speed test. Let's go to fast.com and so that's our download which is really really good and our upload let's see give it a second to finish here and our upload speed is uh, doing pretty well too 23 megabits per second that's actually pretty good for being uh, connected over of a VPN it's a lot better than I thought it would be all right, so that was all pretty cool stuff. I don't know why it took me so long to finish this video, but whatever the case, it's done now. As you can see, or well, as you saw, we put the Dell T30 at my friend's place. I've connected to it locally uh, through OpenVPN, which I can do through my phone if I want to have my own uh, VPN, like if I'm traveling, or if I want to control that server for any reason. Uh, I can also connect to my personal like my home home unraid server via vpn which is also using open vpn uh, server if i need it so we have two vpns now two personal vpns just in case one is down and i think that means i don't have to pay for vpn service anymore since i can technically use my server at my friend's house or the server at my house which is kind of cool then of course also i can back up data or whatever i want whatever i want to send to that server i can now do that at my leisure and then also I have my third backup, which will also be on Google uh, Drive or the cloud, Google Cloud, whatever you want to call it, Google Drive. So that's three backups now. And now granted the T30 is not perfect by any means, it could get there one day with better drives or as they start to add um, newer drives to my current Unraid server and take those new old shucked drives to the Dell T30, which is going to be kind of a hassle in the future. Or is it? Anyway, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that video. I appreciate everyone watching, and I appreciate all the comments and feedback I've been getting lately, and uh, I hope to see you all next time. Peace.